Hi everyone, it's Brittany and Katie with the Q Team in Rochester, New York. And today we're gonna do a quick video of the do's and don'ts after you make mortgage application. Yep, so at this point you've found a house, you've got an offer accepted, you apply for your mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, and usually your mortgage officer will explain, you know, what to do from there. Um, and we want to really drive the point home of what to do and what not to do, because there are a lot of things that can be really, really important at that stage of the game. Yeah, that's true. I guess the only do that we have for this video is listen to your loan officer yes. and do as they tell you. Yep. Um, <laughs> so we want to drive home a few of the big do not. Yes. Do not do these. Don't do these. Don't think about doing these. Any of these things, don't, don't do them <laughs> after you've made mortgage application for your bridges. Yep. So number one is don't make any large deposits before checking with your loan officer. Mm -hmm. So I guess, yeah, the biggest do is before you do anything, yeah, check with your loan officer. Yes. <laughs> uh, but any large deposits can sometimes be a big you know, red flag for the mm -hmm. bank. They want to see a paper trail of everything. They want to make sure that it's nothing sketchy. You know, if you have a large cash you know, bag of mattress cash money. under your mattress, don't put it in the bank. Yeah, don't. <laughs> you really want to make sure because the bank really wants to see everything where it's come from why you got it and then why it's in there and a big large deposit might set off some red flags that might pose an issue with your loan yeah and now some people might say but i'm getting a gift mm -hmm. that's different yeah so that money after your loan officer says it's okay can be mm -hmm. transferred into your account um, but then there will be required documentation Paperwork from where and, it's yep. coming from they need the trail um, but do not do that mm -hmm. until your loan officer tells you to. Yes, <laughs> and they'll advise you exactly on you know how to make sure that yeah. that's done properly so that there will be no issues with that. Yeah. Uh, number two is do not, don't make, do not, do not <laughs> make any large purchase, purchases, don't finance anything mm -hmm. um, while you're in the mortgage application process mm -hmm. because if you're opening up this new credit, um, it's going to be... A monthly debt that will mm -hmm. show up on your credit and then that could throw off your debt to income ratios your credit score yes yeah. mm -hmm. so that new car that you might want to buy you might end up living in if your debt to income <laughs> ratios go up too high and that you can buy the house yes don't so, right <laughs> don't do it um so yeah no new cars furniture appliances you know mm -hmm. all of those things you know a lot of people want to pre order pre-plan yeah. just make sure before you open any new accounts don't do it <laughs> don't um, do it or before you make any of those large purchases even if you are putting them on you know on a credit card or paying in cash just make sure yeah. to run that by your loan officer to make sure that there won't be any issues with that mm -hmm. so that also goes into um you know sometimes parents might co-sign for their children for something and sometimes that might mm -hmm. come at the same time as when those parents are trying to buy a house uh, don't do it mm -hmm. easy mm -hmm. don't do it <laughs> so when you co-sign you know it's really going to impact your your debts yeah. your credits um you know all of those you know any if you had co-signed for something and they don't make a payment that's going to impact you yeah. and your credit score and show is it you know a delinquent account you know all sorts of things co-signing can just be you know it can be a fine thing to do but in the mortgage application time frame in those two months mm -hmm. month and a half it's not worth messing anything up or again, you know, you got to run everything by your loan officer yeah. to make sure that if you are thinking of doing that, that it will be okay. And they will make sure to go through the process to ensure that it is okay or not. We are being very exaggerative with all of this yes. stuff. So it is important <laughs> to disclose that sometimes it is okay. Yes. If you ask your loan officer first, yes. once or twice or three times, and they say, yes, that's okay. <laughs> once or twice or three times, then you can do it. Um, <laughs> next one is don't change bank accounts. You know, that can sometimes throw a loop in, you know, your financial history, mm -hmm. you know, any of that kind of stuff you, you're providing. That's one of the documents that you're going to have to provide your mortgage person is with, you know, copies of bank, bank statements, statements, bank history, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So keep it simple. Don't change bank yeah. accounts. Wait until after you close to do that. Don't apply for new credit. Don't open any new credit cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simple Don't do it until right. after you close. <laughs> or again. <laughs> get approval first <laughs> right. um and then also don't close any credit accounts unless That's your loan important. officer tells you yeah. to you know don't um file quite uh credit disputes you know all of those things mm -hmm. you you make sure unless they've told you to or you've gotten approval it can throw off your credit score it can throw off you know the documents that they need so it could really 
put a damper in your mortgage application yeah. or the timing or all of that. We were joking before we started recording that like, just breathe. Yeah. That's all you can and do. Only sometimes, but not all the time. Only if your loan <laughs> officer says it's okay. Um, no, but the, all of these things that we're saying are simply because it could be the deciding factor as to whether you can go forward for mm -hmm. purchasing the home or not. Yeah. Um, especially if ratios are tight. Yes. And one other, you know, kind of big thing that sometimes people is changing jobs, changing careers, mm -hmm. any of that. You definitely, before you accept a new job or take any changes, um, make sure that you just get the okay before you sign that new offer letter um, from your loan officer. Because again, you know, sometimes we require job history. Sometimes, you know, there's all sorts yeah. of things that go into this. It's a very complex process. And, and another point that I want to make is don't quit your job. Mm -hmm. Because you, uh, your loan officer will have to verify employment a couple days before closing. So yes. one time we did have a little bit of a dilemma where, you know, there was a buyer who was planning on quitting her job and she did it prematurely, um, which of course the bank found out about. So mm -hmm. if, if there are plans to quit or um, change jobs, if it is a change, check with your loan officer, make sure it's okay. If it's quit, wait until after you close and then quit. Yep. So <laughs> don't do these things. Do not. And do, do check with your loan officer or us um, and we will make sure before you make any sort of thing that might find, affect you financially right. as you're in the mortgage application process and even when you're looking because you know your mortgage pre-approval is usually based on the information that you tell the loan officer so if you want to make any sort of big changes or you're doing something that we talked about on this list even before you've got an offer accepted and applied for the mortgage mm -hmm. check with them beforehand so that you don't throw off you know your pre-approval and financial yeah. purchase so listen to this and you should be good Awesome. All right. We will talk to you all soon. Any questions, please just reach out.